Japan is refusing to revise a controversial deal made with South Korea on wartime sexual slavery. The agreement, reached in late 2015, is considered deeply flawed as it was reached by the corrupt Park and Hay administration behind closed doors without consent from the victims or the public. Oh Se Young with this report. Japan's chief cabinet secretary has said Tokyo is not legally compelled to revise its deal with Ho on Japan's wartime sexual atrocities, as urged by the UN's Committee Against Torture. Yoshihide Suga said on Monday that the suggestions only pertain to Seoul, not Tokyo. The UN committee had concluded last week that the 2015 agreement should be modified to ensure that the surviving victims of the sexual slavery during World War II are provided with redress, including the right to compensation and rehabilitation. Spearheaded by Korea's former President Park geun and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the deal includes an apology from Japan and a one-time contribution of $8.8 .8 million towards the fund for the victims. However, these terms have sparked controversy among the Korean public. It appears that the Japanese government has not shown an official acceptance of responsibility for the past, nor has it expressed a proper apology or measures for reparations. It's also been pointed out by international bodies that their recommendations over the years have not been followed by Tokyo. More than anything, the voices of the victims were excluded from the negotiations of the deal when the restoration of their dignity should be at the core of it. Various UN committees and human rights experts have expressed the same concern, urging Tokyo to make an unequivocal official apology and adequate reparations, such as including the sex slavery issue in its history textbooks. They have also shown discomfort at the prospect of removing the Statue of Peace from outside the Japanese embassy in Seoul. The statue symbolizes the victims and their lifelong search for justice. However, Tokyo has made clear its reluctance to change the deal, and a survey conducted last week by a local paper found that 61% of the Japanese public believe Korea's request for a revision should be disregarded. Only 25% said Japan should comply to a renegotiation. Oh Se-young, Arirang News.